If I'm LeBron James, I don't sleep great at night. Well, actually, I do sleep great at night. I'm probably one of the top five best basketball players of all time. I'm rich. I got a great family. I'm in great shape. Millions of fans look up to me. Millions of kids look up to me, more importantly. But there is one thing in my life that I'm like, this Cleveland Cavalier team. These guys not playing hard. I'm having to do everything on the court right now. And my life could have been a, a tad bit easier this season. As I'm in my 15th season, I'm 33 years old. Dan Gilbert came to me this summer, the Cleveland Cavaliers owner who I don't like. Him and GM Kobe Altman came to me this summer, and they offered me a deal. They said, look, you don't have to sign to us long term. We know you got a player option. But if you just be willing to stay with us and not opt out after this year and give us two years, we'd be willing to pull the trigger on Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love and get you some help. We got a deal in place right now that would get you Eric Bledsoe, one of your closest friends. Your partner, Rich Paul, represents him. You and Eric Bledsoe have a good relationship. As a matter of fact, you were at his wedding last summer. We get you Eric Bledsoe. And Paul George, a top 15 player in the league. That gets you a guard that can go at Steph because Kyrie wants out. And that gets you a perimeter guy that can go at Kevin Durant and take some of the onus off of you defensively in the postseason. We can do that for you right now. But can you commit to us for one more year past 2018, 2019? And then you can do whatever you want. At least tell us you're going to commit for us for two years so we know we're not losing you and we've traded for Paul George who can be a free agent next summer. Paul George told us personally that I will stay for two years. I won't opt out of my deal after the 2017-2018 season if I know LeBron's going to be around. I'll stay for two years. Give us a two-year window to compete with the Warriors and win one more championship for the land. Can you commit? It's not a great free agent class this summer anyways. That's next summer. That's after the 2018-2019 season. You could be a free agent then. Will you commit? LeBron said, nope, I will not give up my financial freedom. I will not give up my ability to be a free agent and assess the team after the season is over with. No, thank you. Thanks for the offer. But I cannot commit to you and opt in and decline my player option. I'm sorry, Dan Gilbert, I can't do it. And I believe LeBron James looked up and was like, I don't trust you as is. The last time I left, you had a crazy, disrespectful letter about me. How can I trust you and know that the deal is even in place? How can I trust you and know that you wouldn't lie to me in my face? How can I trust you? LeBron might regret that decision because Kyrie wanted out. That was obvious. But he could be playing with Eric Bledsoe and Paul George right now. And more importantly, you would have traded Kyrie Irving to Phoenix. You would have got him out of the Eastern Conference altogether. You wouldn't have traded to your rival Boston Celtics team, made them better. They ended up going and grabbing Jason Tatum. They ended up rounding the roster out, going and signing Gordon Hayward. And they looked to be a threat for the next five to six years. Everything would be different. If LeBron James would have just said, Dan Gilbert, yes, I won't exercise my player option. You got me for at least two years, and then we'll reconsider everything after the 2018-2019 season. But LeBron James doesn't trust Dan Gilbert, and I don't blame him. And he wouldn't give up that freedom. And this is the reality of the situation. This is the hand that he's been dealt. Cavs don't trust LeBron, and LeBron doesn't trust the Cavs. They both have reason to feel as if, though, they shouldn't trust each other.